Hi, Mike Falonk, portrait photographer here in Los Angeles. And today, I'm working with a talented model in the Canon EOS R5. Let's get creative. They ain't gotta like it, they just gotta live with it. Got my money working, you know what I did with it. Take it to the field, treat it like a coin toss. Girl, I got it covered, I'm a Louis loincloth. So today, I'm excited to be working with the legendary portrait lens the 135 F2OL lens. When I read online that Canon was considering updating this lens to the RF mount this year, I got super excited. Frankly, it's about time. Since this popular lens came out 20 years ago, yet you can still find it in portrait photographers' bags today. Well, I need all that paper. I've been making plays, call me head coach. This lens came out so long ago, it was actually developed for film SLRs, like the Elan 7 that I have here today. The Canon Elan 7 is a fully automatic film SLR from the year 2000. Having come out just four years after the EF-135, it's fair to call them contemporaries. Thinking about how much camera technology has advanced since then, one can't help but wonder, where's the update to this lens? And today I'm gonna to be shooting both 35 millimeter film and the Canon R5, back to back with this legendary portrait lens. All right, for today's portrait shoot, we're very lucky to be working with Michael Jerome. Hey, how you doing? I'm great, man. Thanks for being here. Pleasure's all mine. Thank you. Do you work out? A little bit. A little bit. You look like you work out. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Yep. Good. So I'm loving the look we're getting right now. I'm using my AD200 to light him, and I'm gonna go back and forth between the R5 and the film camera using the light meter on this to set my exposure. Very nice, yep. Strong looks. Good. Oh yeah, loving that look, loving that look. Can you lean against the wall like you're doing again? Time to switch over to the film camera. Let me just dial in the same settings I had on the uh, R5. I'm at F4, one two hundred of a second. And just like that, can you bring your chin down? Beautiful. Go ahead and uh, yeah, put your back to it, and then look over at me. Just like that. Yes. <laughs> He's getting low. Nice. I think we're done with this location. I scouted some other good ones around the corner. Let's go check them out. Since we have Michael styled to go out in the town, dressed to impress, I have him up against this graffiti background to add a bit of contrast and interest to this portrait. Give me some personality. Nice smile. <laughs> what is that? What are you doing? Nice, there we go. Yep. Great. I want to see the jacket back and I want to see your hand in your jeans, like in your jean pocket. Yeah. I'm going to switch back over to the film camera again. It would be very helpful to have two of these lenses. So I'm still at the same exposure from earlier. F4, one two fiftieth of a second. Whoa, look at that look. Can we come down? Can we get low? Yeah, like that. There we go. Something like that, yeah. Yep.
Well, I'm happy with what we're getting so far. I think we should move on to the next location. We landed on this next location because it features the city skyline in the backdrop. As usual, I'm gonna start with a digital camera to make sure I get my exposure right. All right, Michael, you're looking good. Oh. I should have brought the sandbag out of the car. Looking good. Right now we're getting good light. So before it changes too much, I'm gonna switch over to the film camera. Hold that. Yes. Let's actually, let's walk out here and stand in the middle. I'll move the light. We've been waiting all day for the smog to clear so that we can get a clear view of the downtown skyline. Now that we finally have it, I have Michael sitting out here in a pylon, looking like this is what he does all day, just chilling. Let's get some snaps. Oh yeah, it's good color background. Got some sunset colors going. Yep, just like that, hold that. I wanna conserve the, what's left of this film roll, so I'm gonna switch back over to digital. Very nice. Yep. Oh yeah, let me see profile, just like that. Good profile. Love it. Let's have you jump behind it. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, this always happens. Yeah. Is it really? Oh yeah, it really got hurt. Oh, that's okay. So because I was careless and didn't put a sandbag down this light, the wind knocked it right over and cracked the side here and we can't get it to turn back on. But luckily we have a fast lens that shoots a 2.0 wide open. Let's shoot some natural light. Look that way. I think we should get ready for our last look. What do you say? Hop on over. No, don't change here. We're out in public, ma'am. We're gonna move over to our last look and our last location. I'm gonna bring out another light. Thankfully, I have others. And we're gonna get this done. <laughs> I think we're ready. <laughs> you look ready. I told you this guy worked out. I knew it. Called it. So my original idea was to get two looks out of Michael today. I wanted him to start really dapper and clean, like he's ready to go out and run out in the town. And then I wanted to do something down and dirty in the mud. Since I'm kind and I'm not gonna ask him to get in the mud, we settled for this dirt lot with the 4th Street Bridge. Actually, I think it's the 6th Street Bridge as the backdrop. I got my new light, the 8600, since I broke the 8200. Gonna get my exposure with the digital camera, then finish my film roll. Yes, right there, just hold that. That's beautiful. I have about 12 shots left on this film roll. I want to finish off before the sun's gone. All right, nice and strong. Very good. Am I flash firing? Nope. The Elan 7 has a max flash sync speed of 1 1 of a second, but can achieve higher shutter speeds through the use of high-speed sync. Now we're back in business. Let's finish off this roll while it's working. 
What I wasted four frames figuring out was that there's a dead spot between 1 25th and 1 200th of a second. Oh well. Awesome, will you take the, uh, the hat off and hold it? That's it for the film roll. We're digital from here on out. Might crash, might wreck. But first die. Stretch. Tell him run it. Y'all gon' make me take that trip way out to Europe. I call up Niger, he'll come through in a hurry. Those London boys don't come to play, you should get worried. One false move, find yourself they getting buried. Dance with the devil, used to love playing those games. Made some bad decisions that brought my mama pain. I made a promise to her, swore that I would change. I'm on the come up, bet I live up to my name. <laughs> good catch, good catch. Okay, go for it. Yes, we got you, we got you. I'm just trying to get it so that your hat's not cut off and your toes aren't cut off. Take a breather and then do it. Ready. We got it, we got you all in one picture. Yeah. Make it look like it's all in one piece. It is. See that? Your feet? Your feet? Can you, can you clean the dirtiness? No, that's what we're going for. No, I picked the spot for the dirt. That's why you picked the shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the dirty shot. <laughs> well, we had a great time with the Canon R5 today. Really enjoyed shooting with this legendary portrait lens. And I learned something about my film SLR. Apparently, it won't sync with the God X flash trigger if you let the shutter dip below 1 200th of a second. Learn my lesson, I guess. I won't be making that mistake again. <laughs> hey, Mike, good work today. Hey, thank you. Had a blast shooting with you. Uh, pleasure's all mine, buddy. Tell the nice people where they can follow you. You can always follow me at MJP Model House. On Instagram? Yes, definitely. And maybe in the future, you'll be doing something on YouTube? Yes, I'll be creating my own fitness channel. Julie it's going to be called Body by Michael? You can find it at uh, MJP Model House as well. Uh, be sure to follow. Great content. Give him a follow. And like and subscribe for more portrait content. We'll see you in the next video. See you. Bye.